something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military, but I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing, lots of doing, which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh... Wait, wait. Where are we again? Uh, okay, so... This town doesn't have a name yet, and as we're the ones who built it, but... That doesn't matter. Point is, you're riding there, and you'll soon be... Aperture Science Innovators! We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry though, we haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community, entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet, either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands-on. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. <clears throat> Just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean cars said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys, Jig and Alamy, built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously, though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. 
when the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine with all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test could happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the You're Fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovator's Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to, and beat that other company to the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss me. Right. The bean counters cry like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills. I make the decisions around here. I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Realization Vault. You'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Six signs, boys, disappear, because man. Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Gary lied to me. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest.
Is a is is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry though, we got shot okay. Nothing's different, nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber, I'll tell you a bit more out there. Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boots. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Pick that yellow device up. Don't worry, it's not hazardous. I've had the scientists leave you a new device to help you. Yeah, that's right, a new test. Congratulations! You get to test something else now. Double the experiments for you. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. But don't worry though, we built the building like this. Uh, don't worry about that. It's just uh, a new drilling test we're doing down below. Yeah, <laughs> to get the salt mines deeper, to get more testing spheres in. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Just ignore that. Don't mind all this too. We just had uh, earthquakes. Lots of earthquakes. Yeah, yeah, you get lots of those here in Michigan. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. All right, so. The earthquakes. Kinda did some redecorating in here. Destroy the door too. You'll have to find another way out. might look different than what you're used to, but uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some some uh, aperture science nanomachines come in and build all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's it. They're quick little guys. Faster than any science guy I got. Now, I just want to make sure you know something before you go any further. We have these new inventions called emancipation grids in place to prevent objects from moving around to other tests. Now, some guy decided that it would be a good idea to make ones that prevent people from going through and installed one where people needed to go through. Switch isn't like the rest of them. The others trip a circuit breaker that causes an entire part of the facility's power grid to blow up. So remember, the one in here is good, all others bad. I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your uh, new test can help. Remember, you can always turn the power on or off again.
new testing track is just through here. your uh, reflexes, you know, after your short sleep. a portal device to get through. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I meant a portable quantum tunneling device. Look, it's in your hands right now. Uh, the scientists did their job. You'll do fine. is lead line, according to my 1950s notes here in my 1950s filing cabinet. Says it's harmful to humans. Uh, I mean, not harmful to humans. You'll be okay. Perfectly fine. Nothing to worry about. Oh, and uh, don't worry about the boxes. We got a ton back stock ready for this kind of thing. Thrown at the wall, destroyed, rinse and repeat. Useless little things. Made them in an hour.
means that high toxicity lead didn't get in the air and, uh, I mean, great job, astronauts, Olympian or war hero, you really are a merit to science or something like that. Just remember the Nuremberg Olympics.